Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded video where you guys see all this crap that's across the top of my screen and you guys know what that means. We are once again going to be hopping in and checking out some of the items that are coming to the game. Now this is the last time I am doing this for grounded. Um, I have gone through and done this after every single update in the game and that is go in, go into our natural resources tab and go through everything that is in here. But guys, like I said, this is the last Last time I'm doing this before the 1.0 update because after this the game is in full release and there's not really a reason for me to have to go through and do it unless they start talking that there's going to be another large update or something like that then maybe I'll do it again but for now let's hop in and let's take a peek at everything that's inside of this natural resources tab one last time just for grounded all right so first of all these two lab chairs here it says that an actual chair that was shrunk down for use in the labs you stole this I'm hoping at some point they do actually allow us to grab them but right now we can't do that gum nuggets already in the game pebbles in the games plant fiber in sprigs in leaves not in the game but broad leaf for building and gliding we don't have anything like that yet but i will say that this leaf has been labeled like this since the beginning of time do i think it's going to come in 1.0 maybe do i think thorns are going to come in 1.0 no, but this has been in here for a while. Web fiber in the game. Sap in. Pollen in. Dew drops in. Dirty dude. Dirty drops. Technically is just a bubble of nasty water. Technically in. Weed stems, you betcha. Grass planks, egg corn tops, corn bits, egg corn shells, red ant parts, heads, shiny ant heads. Now, one thing I want to say about shiny ant heads, these have been in this list forever. I don't think shiny ants are coming to the game. If they are, it's going to be a surprise to me, but this has literally been in the game since the beginning of time. I'm telling you guys, since the first time I did one of these, these were in there. So do I think shiny ants are coming? No, I don't think shiny ants are coming to the ground in 1.0 update. That's happening in two days. But let's keep on going here. Uh, red ant mandibles in there. Ant eggs, gotcha. Black ant eggs, they're in there too. They're just hard to find. Acid glands, you betcha. Ant pheromone, interesting one. Been inside of this list for a while now. Not new, but it's a stinky ball of ant manipulators. Smells like foot cheese. Now, there is something on the uh, grounded uh, timeline, more or less, what they're working on. And over there, there is an ant queen. So possibly this could come at some point. But this would take a very large effort in order to get taming ants and making them listen to you with pheromones wherever you might be able to throw it down or something like that. Maybe they would follow you because you have it. I'm not sure how this would work, but not new, but still in here nonetheless. Flower petals in the game. Clay's in the game. Fertilizer, it's not in the game, but technically I think that this is just one of those workaround things that's in the game right now that is coded into the game so that way when you put rotten meat into the planters that it works as fertilizer. So I don't think we're actually going to get fertilizer even though we have a fertilizer bag. I don't think we're actually going to have fertilizer in the game we can harvest unless we get a tier two fertilizer, which would be really cool. Don't get me wrong. If we had like an open bag of fertilizer somewhere in the upper yard, you can grab it and use it for growing food more efficiently. I don't think that's needed, but it would be really cool if we got something like that. Nonetheless, going on quartzite shards. I'm sorry, but you are no longer in the game. It was great to see you. But you're no longer in the game. Quartzite was removed out completely. If you find it, it's not supposed to be in there. Dry grass chunks, juice drops, soda drops, thistle needles, dandelion tufts, mite fuzz. All these are in the game. Nat fuzz, clover leaves in the game. A uh, big photo. This is not an item you're ever going to be able to find in the game. This is actually just um, part of the back end for being able to take photos. So don't worry about that. Stink bug gas sacks, yep, and parts in the game. Stink bug plating. This is another one, guys, that's been in here for like ever. Uh, it is just a part. It's like if if all if they went through and added a third rare part to a bunch of bugs, this is what the stink bugs one would be. And I'll go through uh, each of the ones that are in here and explain that as we go. So if we go through this, we get into ladybugs. Here's the ladybug wing. This would be the same thing as the stink bug plating uh, going through weevil parts because we have weevil nose that's in here. There's also weevil meat that you get. Grub hide and grub sludge, we already get those. But grub faceplate falls into that same category as ladybug wings. Then we have bees 
stuff here, you know, bee stingers and bee fuzz, boiling glands, bombardier parts, both of those come from bombardier beetles already. All of these items are still in the game right now. Glow goo is in the uh, in the game. No, not grow goo, glow goo. There's a difference. You got to listen for the L and not the R. Anyway, iridescent scales, mosquito beaks, blood sacs, spikes, fungal growth, water flea mead, all of these are all in the game right now, except I don't think that Diving Bell Silk is in the game. It says that it's the silk of a Diving Bell Spider more robust than normal spider web fiber, useful for advanced crafting. This is a possibility of something that could come to the game. This has been another thing that's been in this list, though, for a while, so it's not exactly new. But it's possible that they could bring it to 1.0. Diving Bell Spider chunks are, well... They're in the game already for you. Uh, tadpole slime. Uh, this is slime gathered from the course of tadpole, usable as lubricant for gear. This isn't in the game yet, but it's been in this list for a while. Possibly another thing coming to 1.0. Strider legs. Goodbye. Rip Strider. You're not coming to the game, so we don't have to worry about that. Water boatmen fins, though. Water boatmen definitely are in the game, and you already can make those, as well as lily pad wax. Lily pad membrane is not in the game. But I'm pretty sure that lily pad membrane got replaced with lily pad wax. Going on, we have cattail fluff. We don't have cattails in the game quite yet that we can harvest to give us this fluff. But it does say a bundle of fluffy seeds in the head of a cattail plant, warm and insulating. So possibly if we get a cold biome in the game, we could get this added as well. Uh, eelgrass strands already in there. Leech sacks, rip leech. You're no longer coming to the game, so we don't have to worry about that, which means we're not getting the harpoon gun, but all is well. Live aphid, already we know. You, this is just a placeholder for the aphid that's already in the game for us to find. Crow feather pieces in there. Red ant eggs, again, in there already. But now we got black ant parts, black ant heads, black ant mandibles. All of these items are in the game already, including these charcoal chunks and pupa hides. Good old broodmother parts already in there. Some salt and ant lion parts. Those go together like margaritas and water. Anyway, uh, sickly roly poly shells. These are in the game for you. Gunpowder clump. Now, this is different. This is shaped the same as the infected bug parts but it's different it's a stable but deadly pile of gunpowder now we do have a cap gun in the game so it's possible we could be getting this and getting a better tier bomb later on but not sure at this point either let's keep on going here guys we got dark mold clump a gross but usable clump of unknown mold one thing i do want to call about both of these items is that they have been in the game since the um into the wood update so while well, they've been in this file not in the game but in this file so possible that we could be getting these soon uh termite parts are in the game as well already as well as chompers king carpus and tough gunk dust mite fuzz black ox horns and parts all of these are still in the game including lint all these nothing new here roly-poly shells for the better roly polies super stink bug sacks yep spider venom it's there fangs Ooh, rust this is one that came in recently a, a nugget of hard packed pebblet dust not very good as a handheld tool but can stun on impact when thrown so possible a new stunning agent like that we're going to be getting in the game um this has been in since the last update though not new to this update not new to uh the home stretch update but possible that we could be getting some rust as a throwable item later on green shield bug parts we already have now we're going to start getting into some weird stuff here guys invalid 1403 invalid 1392 those are two items that i have no idea what they are and i have no idea what they could be other than this one looks like a pebblet but anyway uh hardened sprigs this is a sprig reinforced with resin it's super sturdy possibly a way to make more advanced weapons or gear or buildings further on in the game uh resin applied to materials to strengthen them i would believe that at some point we may get a resin tree or something like that that we can pull this out of maybe we can find a bottle of resin somewhere inside of the shed if they open that up who knows but cool nonetheless ant acid formic acid distilled from at ant acid glands smells like vinegar possibly something that could come to the game these items these three that are above me have been in the game since before the home stretch update or in this file i when i say in the game in this episode um for these items that you guys have never seen i do mean in this 
list whenever you use a certain admin code in order for these to get in there. Now, this is full of spoilers, by the way. I should have said that way back in the beginning. Maybe I'll put maybe I added something in for you guys. Um, but nonetheless, let's keep going. Grub leather scraps. Rip. No longer needed. Berry leather scraps. Rip. No longer needed. Same thing with pupa leather scraps. Honey. Sickly or sticky and sweet provides moderate substance. Hopefully, we're going to be getting this. At, so actually, I do believe we can get it up from underneath the honey jar right now. So maybe uh, mushrooms, mushrooms, and algae all in the game already. Muscle sprouts in there. Granola bars, best healing item in the game, in my opinion. Nectar, delicious. Aphid honeydew, even more delicious. Billy hog bites, delicious. Even better is fresh billy hog bites. Those have been in the game for a while, too. Candy cornlets, best thing in the world, candy corn. Love it. Anyway, uh, candy sandwich bits, fresh can cookie sandwich bits, apple bits, all these been in there. Cricket meat, this is one that's been in here, guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys since the first time I did one of these. Do I think a cricket's coming to the game? No. Do I know a moth is coming to the game? Yes. But anyway, let's keep on going. So we got mints. We got spoiled meat, raw aphid meat, aphid roast and jerky. Once again, we're going to go through all these like foods. Look at all those food. Those are all in the game already. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Now, we also have some spicy shards here. We also have some sour candy. We don't. We don't have sour candy in the game yet. We do have spicy candy, as well as mint candy, uh, as well as salt, but we don't have sour candy. So, maybe a new damage type coming in the game? That'd be pretty cool if we got a new damage type that comes to the game. I think that it would be nice to have a, another damage type because, let's face it, spicy, sweet, or salty, and fresh? It's only three. Technically, we have poison, so that brings us to four. But this is an RPG game, so it'd be cool to see another one come to the game. Anyway, rotten food and donut chunks, these are in there. Fresh donut chunks aren't. You only find rotten donut chunks. But anyway, donut chunks nonetheless. More invalid items. Eye patch. You betcha it's already in there. And I crashed my game like I always do. So let's go through and let's get grounded, reloaded back up here, shall we? Okay, here we are back again. So where the heck did we leave off? Down here after all the food. So... This is where things start getting a little frisky when you highlight over them and starts crashing your game, which is why that happened. So, okay, we were over here. Scuba mask. Looking at the scuba mask, that crash crashes your game. That is just a placeholder for the bubble helmet. We're gonna we're gonna look right underneath me here while I click myself away. But anyway, uh, scuba mask not in the game. It's just a placeholder for other programming. Uh, rotten gas mask, rotten bee mask. All these rotten items are in the game. The marksman caps in the game. Buoyancy thingy. I think that this is a placeholder for something else that's in the game as well. If I click on it, it'll crash my game. That's why I'm not clicking on these. Debug sword. This is literally for debugging. This is not for the like program debugging, not in game debugging by killing things. Uh, rotten stinger spear, red ant club, both in the game. We don't have a rotten black ant shovel in the game yet. Hopefully, we could get something like this soon. A uh, basketball. That's just a pebblet. Ultimate armor glue. Um, I don't remember if the glue station makes this yet. I don't think so. I think it's just regular armor glue that you use to fix things or a pair of glue. Sorry. Um, and then compasses. I hope we get a compass later on in the game and upgrade so we know which way is north, south, east, west. So, you know, if you're traveling and all of a sudden you get turned around, but maybe, but not yet. Rotten Larva Blades in the game. Clover Glider. This is something that's been in here forever, guys. And sadly, I don't think we're actually going to get a Clover gl Glider because it's still saying invalid minus one game items. That means that it's not coming. Uh, Rotten Slime Lantern in there. Invalid game items. Both of these uh, could be anything at this point. They're new to this update, but I have no idea what they are. Splinter Arrows. Spiky Sprigs and Spiky Sprigs. Why these two have candy icons, I'm not sure. Probably play holders for other things that are being worked on all of these items here no clue what they are they're literal question marks uh then we have field stations which i have no idea if we're gonna be able to build a field station later on in the game but nonetheless we have field stations here all three pet memorials and then we go on and we start having all of the different types of smoothies that are in the game or slops that are in the game that we can go through and see. But for now, guys, that is everything that is in this natural resources tab whenever you're going through and use an admin code in order to unlock these. So that is all the spoilers I'm doing for 1.0. I don't think this is really anything that can say that's really a spoiler because 
I'm sad to report that everything that I've seen in here so far, other than those question mark items, have been in the game since before the home stretch update. So it's still good. If you guys want to know my point of view on some of these things, that's why I went through them and explained it all for you guys again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And also, guys, don't forget to check out the merch store. I got all sorts of cool stuff over there that you guys can see. And because Grounded's coming out, maybe I'll even start working on some Grounded merch that can say, like, so Simulot likes Grounded or something like that. We'll see what happens maybe we'll do something that says grounded guru who knows but i'll figure it out if you guys have some ideas go check out my discord and let me know over there in the merch ideas but thank you guys so much and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one